Nina Janjidova getting the submission win over Amanda Lemos. And, you know, she kind of laid the groundwork in the first round and was able to finish the job in round two. Yeah, you know, and it was the patience. It was really wearing her out and understanding the fact that she had Lambos on the ropes as far as just not understanding where she was going to go. She was fighting off the rear naked choke for so long, trying to fight the hands, and then after a while she realized that, hey, the arm bar is open. But it was just a complete domination on the ground, even when it looked like Lambos was having some some of her way and getting out of certain positions and looking to reverse, you just seen Jan Jadoba so comfortable in those grappling positions. And that was the thing that we talked about earlier, the fact that uh, Jan Jadoba can make anything happen. She doesn't necessarily need to land a takedown cleanly. She can pull guard and still get in position. Yeah, you saw that in this fight. Anytime she, Lemos looks like she was getting the sweep, uh, uh, Jan Jadoba would go to deep half, where you almost bear hugging one leg. And from that deep half, she would swivel and find her way on top. And look, I don't want to bury the lead here. Jan Dover does what she does best. She's one of the top in the division, one of the top in the UFC, getting the fight to the ground and finding this submission. But I think a lot of fighters in the division also learn tonight, you can't go for guillotines against her. You yeah. can't go for Kamor defenses against the Finch. You need a wizard stuff the head, sprawl out, and circle back. I think Lemos made some errors tonight, and I think she's going to learn from that. Yeah, and you know what? With, with the errors, if we're looking at Lemos's game and, and what she did in this fight versus what she did in the Dern fight yeah. was, she, she didn't she didn't get on the attack. And that was a difference in this fight versus the uh, Dern fight was the fact that she kind of sat back in a little bit and was playing a little bit too much defensively wrestling takedown instead of getting on her bike, moving laterally, setting those traps, hitting the stick and moving and start chipping away at a target in front of her. She got a little stationary, and because she got stationary, she gave Jan Jadoba an easy target to take down. Yeah. All right. Well, she's a very likable girl. Got a fun personality. We know we you're, well. We don't have the hats here. You've got one at home, and I'm so envious. But we do <laughs> want to hear what she thinks about the victory. Vina Janjadoba spoke with Heidi after the fight. Let's hear what she had to say. Thank you very much. Well, congratulations to you, Verna. We spoke yesterday about how you were embracing the celebration here this week, your first main event. As you made the walk to the Octagon, we could see that in your face. How was that walk to the Octagon for your first main event? Então, foi de fato uma celebração, né? É, eu tenho falado que durante toda a semana eu estava celebrando, correndo risco, enfim, independente de resultado, eu acho que eu merecia aquela celebração. E como consequência, esse merecimento veio hoje, né? Eu me senti merecida, eu me autorizei né, a, a, fazer, a me expressar, a fazer uma boa luta, e o resultado foi maravilhoso. Sim, yeah, de uh, I, I took... Uh... I allowed myself to celebrate, you know, independent of the result. Uh, this is a very important point, you know, win or lose, whatever happened, I had to make the most of it and, and enjoy the process. And uh, I made myself uh, uh, deserving of the result and everything happened the way it was supposed to happen. And here we are. You know, you made it look easy. Let's start with that first round. It was just entertaining grappling the entire round. Were you surprised though to see Lemos you know, go for the grappling, even from the opening bell. Então, é, na verdade, não, 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 não me surpreendi, né? É, eu acho que foi uma luta que pode ter parecido fácil, mas porque eu trabalhei bastante para isso, a gente trabalhou bastante para que eu voltasse a ter a confiança de finalizar e tudo mais. E, obviamente, que o, a luta poderia ir para cinco rounds, mas, na minha cabeça, eu estava pensando todo o tempo, eu vou finalizar, eu vou finalizar, a luta não vai chegar aos cinco rounds, e aconteceu. As it, it might have looked easy, but it's because of there was so much work done to get my confidence back that I, I know that I can submit anybody in this division, and uh, that work, you know, it's finally getting some fruits, and uh, that's fruit of the labor of the entire team and everybody. So uh, it, it could have gone any better. It was a, a rear naked choke to a body triangle to an arm bar. I mean, the time, how quickly you transitioned to that finish was just absolutely beautiful. Did you expect this fight to end in the in the second round? And did you know during that exchange it was over? Então, eu queria acabar no primeiro round, mas não aconteceu, né? É, eu imaginei que acabaria assim antes do, do quinto round. E eu estava ali no, no Mata Leão, só que eu estava sem querer me desgastar, porque poderia ir para um próximo round e não estava, de fato, encaixado. É, então, eu decidi me arriscar ali pelo pelo arm lock, né, pelo ambar, que é algo que eu faço essa transição na academia muito. E, enfim, e funcionou. 
Yeah, the, the rear naked choke wasn't 100% locked in, so I knew that I had to be a little conservative. You know, I kept on trying, but I knew that I couldn't uh, exhaust all my, my power there. So I uh, just paid attention, and when the opening came, that is a transition that we do a lot in the gym. It's something that I have done my entire career, and when the opportunity came, I had to grab it. We, we know you to be patient with those submissions. It paid off tonight. You call, you know, obviously you said that you're ready for the champion. How do you think you match up and how do you beat Zhang Wei Li? Should she be your next opponent? Então, acho que eu caso com a Eli como eu tenho um casado todas as minhas lutas. Na UFC eu tenho um jogo estranho, eu sou estranha. Então, eu acho que isso é ótimo, né? Antes eu não gostava de ser estranha, mas agora eu gosto. Então, acho que, que é assim que eu posso ganhar da Eli Zen. Can't wait for the translation. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, the big thing is I'm weird. I fight weird. I train weird. I, I do weird things. I didn't like being weird back when I was a kid, but I guess now I, I kind of like being weird. So, Well, weird works. Congratulations to you, Virna.